Good morning, YouTube. It is Thursday, November 26, 2015. It's 8 in the morning, and you'll have to forgive me. I'm being a little quiet because my husband and daughter are still sleeping, so I kind of want to keep it down and hopefully not wake them up in the process of doing this video. I'm sorry, my lighting is really off. I, I don't know why. Um, it's really dark in here, so it is what it is. We gotta work with it, so... Um, I wanted to give you guys an update on a few things. I actually did a whole video already um, on my psych visit, but then something else happened the next day, and I wanted to throw that in there. And I'm going to try to keep the video short, because my videos have been running a little long. Um, so I'm going to try to keep this short and sweet, but while still giving you guys the, um, the information that I want to pass along. Okay, so you have to forgive me. I just took a shower. And my hair's not cooperating, so. Okay. So I had my psych visit. I had it on Monday, the, um, oh, what day was that? Monday the 23rd? Yeah. Um, I was able to get, this was the visit that I thought was going to be in March, so it was great that I was able to get in so quickly. Um, it was originally scheduled for March 20, 31st. March 31st, and I was able to get in with somebody else way quicker and um, get it all done and, and taken care of. So first things first, I passed. Yay! <laughs> um, I'm not crazy, which is great. Uh, he asked me, um, he had a form out actually of questions to ask me, and I know he does a lot of bariatric patients for this particular hospital I'm going to. So, um, and luckily I didn't have to go completely downtown. I actually could go to a suburb so I didn't have a two-hour drive or two-hour plus drive. I could just go to a suburb and come back so it was a lot quicker and easier to do. Um, so he asked me a bunch of questions um, and I'll, I'll list off some of the things I can remember off the top of my head. Um, he asked me about you know my current family situation basically who I'm living with. Um, he asked me if I have support as far as this whole thing is concerned. He asked me about my um, mental health, current and past, any medications that I am on for anything. He asked me about my, um, if I have any obesity related health issues. He asked me about any abuse that I have suffered, um, sexual, physical, or mental in the past or current. Um, he asked me about my eating habits, current eating habits. Um, and he asked me about my weight history, like from what I can remember going back to like high school, what my weight was. So, um, I had to like go through and try and remember what my weight was <laughs> before high school, which is tough. I mean, I know that I wasn't a tiny person. Um, I didn't consider myself huge compared to now because now I'm 300 pounds. Um, I was probably 225 most of high school and then after high school I dropped down to 175 which I still consider small but some people may consider that big um, and then I went back up so and I've been going back up since so yeah I had to try and go through that and remember that as best as I could um so that was that was a little difficult but um you know this is part of the deal is trying to remember your weight history especially for the insurance company and stuff he had me do it my weight like take my weight and shit so that had to be done so other than that it, that was pretty much it we talked it was probably a 45 minute visit um and then he said I was good for the surgery so he said it was I would be a good candidate and he then he told me I was smart and I was like oh thank you I appreciate that <laughs> he told me I should continue with my college education which currently is on pause because I have a two-year-old and although that's not a very good excuse in itself, I also work full time and I take care of my other nieces and nephews. I babysit them. So it's not uh, the perfect timing right now to finish school. So I will once we're a little more comfortable with where we're at and um, I feel better about my self-esteem. I told him I don't even think I could apply for a new job because I don't think very highly of myself right now. And I don't think I'd have the confidence to even look for new opportunities, let's just say. So anyways, that was finished and um, that went well and I got approved. So yay, psychology visit done. 
Okay, so the next thing, the next day on Tuesday, November 24th, I went to my OB, my OB gynae, to get birth control because I don't want to get pregnant and I don't want to get pregnant after either. And um, I know a lot of people go with IUDs because they're pretty safe um, and they're not without their problems, of course. But when you look into the actual research and not what people say, it's one of the safest forms of birth control. So I um, wasn't planning on doing that until after the surgery. And before the surgery, I was just going to get the pill. Um, but we sat down and talked, and she convinced me to just do the IUD now. So I was not prepared for that. I brought my daughter. I didn't bring a stroller. I didn't think I was going to have anybody shoving anything up my crotch today or that day. Um, I was not prepared. Let's just say I was not prepared in any way, shape, or form. Um, so she was like, oh, okay, get ready. I'm like, well, I'm kind of, I kind of have my menstrual cycle right now. And she's like, oh, that's perfect. And I was like, why? And she says that when you're on your menstrual cycle, it makes it easier to insert the IUD because your cervix is already slightly open. So it makes it easier to shove it in there. Now, I have to say, I've never had contractions before because I was a C-section. My daughter was breech, so C-section all the way. I never even had to deal with contractions ever. But I did Tuesday. <laughs> um, they grab a hold of your cervix, which isn't the worst part. That part, it hurts a little but it's not the worst part. The worst part's when they insert the fucking thing into your uterus. That is ridiculously painful. And she told me that um, that would be kind of what a contraction feels like. And I thought, holy hell. No wonder people want pain meds when they have kids. <laughs> that hurt. It hurt. Um, but I can describe it to like a pain that's very quick and done. Um, I've heard someone describe it like wasabi, which is very true. Um, you have the Mexican peppers and stuff that, or Mexican, I'm sorry, it's uh, the Hispanic peppers and stuff um, from the Hispanic culture that are oil-based, so they coat your mouth and they last and they linger. This is more like wasabi or hot mustard. It just, it there and then gone. So it was a sharp pain and then gone. Um, but I did have some like cramping the rest of the day. And nausea, extreme nausea. Um, I've been basically incapacitated for about a day and a half. I can't eat anything. I couldn't, I could barely drink anything. I was keeping water down, but oh my God, I was so sick. I had no clue it would be that rough. And I was thinking, F, if I had known that I was going to be this bad, I would have waited till after Thanksgiving because Thanksgiving's today. And... I was so nauseous yesterday. I was so nauseous. It was horrible. It was, it was rough. Um, it's gone now. I don't have any nausea now. So it was only two days. Um, but oh man, that was rough. Um, but now I know. If I ever have one put in again, now and this one's in here for five years, three to five years. So I won't have to worry about anything getting put in or anything like that for another five years. So. Um, of course, we're going to have a kid before then, so it'll come out in like three years. I won't give it a tug and pull it out and try to have babies. But just so you guys know, I got, there's like three different types of, uh, or maybe more even, <clears throat> of IUDs. And I got Marina, and that's the one that has, um, it's not copper, it's the hormonal one. Um, and I got that one because I have really awful periods really awful ones and they're extremely painful and um, I probably they think it might have endometriosis but it hasn't been confirmed or denied they kind of just mentioned it that I have extreme severe periods and then I have a cyst on my um, right ovary that um, is benign but it does like burst and then refill and burst and refill so you get the idea. I have really painful periods and really heavy periods, which is why I also went with the um, Diva Cup because pads and tampons don't work for me. I have to use the Diva Cup, which has been 
a lifesaver. I don't leak. I don't, it's, I love the Diva Cup. If, if you guys use tampons, now I don't know pad users may not like it, but if you guys use tampons, I would recommend looking into the Diva Cup, especially if you have heavy periods because it's effing amazing. One use, I mean, the, the Diva Cup lasts a year or not, if not more, and it can go 12 hours without you needing to empty it. And once you get the hang of it, because there is a learning curve, it takes a bit of time to get used to inserting it and stuff. And I'm still, sometimes I still have issues with it. But once you like get used to inserting it and stuff, it's the easiest, it's it's the best thing in the world. I'll never, I'll never go back to tampons and pads again. So anyway, that was a bit TMI. Sorry, boys, if you're watching this. <laughs> but for the girls, that's, um, I mean, really, if you're a guy and you're watching this, you're probably old enough to understand these things, and if it upsets you, you got more growing to do because <laughs> this is what life is. This is what life is, you know. If you want kids or babies or whatever, this is this is what you're gonna have to deal with, if not way more than that. So what I just told you is nothing compared to what you'll have to deal with if you ever want to have a child. So, um, as my husband and most men who have had children know. <laughs> so. Okay, guys, well, that's um, that's my update. I just wanted to do a really quick one, um, and I want to keep them short and sweet. Um, and I'm sorry if, if I offended anybody um, with, the, with the TMI stuff, but I'm a girl, and that's part of my body, and it's a natural function, and it's what it is. So, um, unfortunately, if you don't like that kind of stuff, I'm sorry. You know, don't watch at all. <laughs> okay, guys, well, enjoy your turkey day. I'm having family over, so i got to get ready and and um, take care of everything. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.